This is a season for thankful hearts, and mine is filled with gratitude for our MSU. Down from Beaumont Tower is an old oak tree that was broken by a mighty wind. But instead of succumbing to its circumstances, it has sprouted leaves that dropped in the gentler wind of this past fall. This tree, our resilience tree, sits between Linton Hall and the old offices of President Hanna and the newer administration building named for him. And it has heard the Beaumont Bells chime the hour for nearly a century. This tree, our resilience tree, is the story of MSU. Indeed, the winds of change have blown through our university life, but we've continued to grow as a community of Spartans, and here we are, advancing knowledge and transforming lives. In fact, we've moved up seven places to number 77 in the latest rankings from the US News and World Report. This is a positive change that is the measure of our resilience and our excellence. That resilience and excellence is in our classrooms, on our stages, in our laboratories, clinics, and farms, and on our fields and courts. As we complete this semester, our students have leaned in to understand complex equations and artistic expression, animal disease, and human emotion. And they have carried in their life buckets the heaviness of this present moment. But they know our hands are with theirs. We cannot take this moment from them. We cannot protect them from the storms of life. But we know that with their MSU education, taught by our great faculty and academic staff, they are ready for whatever may come next. The world needs most what our students learn here. And the larger world has taken notice, and our students are finalists for Schwartzman and Mitchell scholarships. These are measures of our resilience and our excellence. I'm grateful for students, faculty, and staff, and everyone who are in our university community, talking, laughing, questioning, and debating, sometimes continuing the conversation for hours, including standing in line to vote at Brody. Faculty have been awarded grants individually and collaboratively. We have all learned to lean on each other and ask for advice, from advisors to faculty, coaches to grad students, mentors to RAs. I like to say I never learn anything talking to myself. And in this last year, we have learned from and leaned on one another, and we are excelling as a community. And so today, as on every day, I give thanks for you, MSU, for your resilience and your excellence. Let's continue to look upward, Spartans, be generous in spirit, have gratitude for the journey, and extend grace to those who share this path. Look upward, Spartans, and hear the bells ring out another minute of another day and give thanks.